हेलो स्टूडेंट्स समग्र शिक्षा सिद्धिपेट प्रेजेंट्स आर वर्ल्ड थ्रू इंग्लिश क्लास एट पेज ट्वेंटी सिक्स यूनिट टू सी रीडिंग रीचिंग द अनरीच रोमेश वॉज फोर्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड ही लेफ्ट हीज वीडोड मदर एंड थ्री एंगर सिस्टर्स back in bihar he took up a long travel of hundreds of miles to find a new future he reached hyderabad one of the main cities in india on reaching the city he found that the streets were not paved with gold finding a job was not an easy task cursed by hunger he joined a group of rag pickers he started working early in the morning and toiled until late evening only to earn a mere rupees 10 a day life was not a dream for him Luckily he got a helping hand from the child line when some rescuer called 1098 helpline Ramesh is now one of the beneficiaries of Andhra Pradesh state based project for the elimination of child labor Many such children fall to similar fate due to domestic violence and abject poverty one such example was shanti a 9 year old kid she was taken out of the school by her page 27 parents and sent to hyderabad to work in a middle class home she suffered all day long spending her energy on cooking mopping cleaning and washing clothes worse was to come the owners locked her up in a tiny room when they went out she stayed alone waiting for the day to pass she recalled her memories with friends at school and she wept as a direct result of awareness campaignings the neighbors informed the child labor enforcement team she was rescued and is now placed in a girls transit home who knows how many such unreached are waiting to be rescued child rights and you cry is an organization that believes that children are citizens and they have their own rights at cry they do not believe in charity nor do they run schools or orphanages instead they partner some basic level organizations working for children their parents and communities cry's role is that of a bridge between child developmental organizations and people working for marginalized children they gather the support money and time of the indians around the world and thousands of field workers across india who struggle to enrich the lives of children cry has freed more than 1 lakh children from hunger exploitation and literacy in more than 13000 villages and slums the organization has successfully prevented child labor in 648 villages across the nation and liberated 1000 152 villages from child marriages 
it also has 21,676 out of school children in its account who have now joined schools. These children are into their childhood with all due opportunities of life. Save our souls. SOS SOS Children's Villages is an independent non-governmental social development organization that provides family-based care for children in India since 1964. It advocates the concerns, rights and needs of children. More than 6,000 children and young people live in 33 SOS children's villages and 27 SOS youth facilities in India. At SOS children's villages, the organizers believe that every child should grow up in a strong family environment and so their work helps families to create a loving, caring home. Their work focuses on strengthening families, helping them to stay together during difficult times and provide the best care possible to their children. The needs of a family can be varied. SOS Children's Village experts work with families to help them develop a wide range of skills from household budget planning, how to get a job and earning a living, to bond with a child or young person and learning to create a stable family life at home.